Hi VC, it's Rob here with another video and um, this is a car boot adventure video so uh, been at the car boot uh, yesterday, Sunday and also today because it's a bank holiday in the UK so picked up um, all these records here for £10 um, you know, varying quality and um, also picked up some singles that I'll talk about later and a few CDs that I'll show at the end of the video. So, um, first record I'm going to show is a record that I got today. Um, so I was really struggling today. I was walking around uh, the car boot sale off the East Lanks Road, um, not far out of Manchester. Uh, it was a fine day, um, but it wasn't as fruitful as yesterday. Um, and I only actually bought stuff from one stall um, bought some CDs that I'll show later and there was an LP there that I thought yeah um, I've seen people talking about this group on the VC uh, and they're not a group that um, I've ever sort of took much interest in but I'm sure a lot of people will smile when I show um, this album so the Yes album so uh, got a gatefold it's the record is actually on the record turntable because uh, I've been listening to it and uh, I quite enjoyed it um, you know it's not an 8 out of 10 yet but it could be um, so yes a sort of band prog band that um, I've never really took any time with um, but listening to it I quite enjoyed it and it's it's not a bad copy one pound fifty so um yeah quite enjoyed it and uh yeah for one pound fifty uh my first yes album so yeah uh, the yes album from i think it's from maybe 71 and this is sort of um thought of as probably the fourth or fifth best yes album but i've read that it's quite a good introduction so yeah here we go yes uh for one pound fifty now i picked up I mean, this 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 record sleeve had to be picked up just in itself, and this was fifty pence. But it's such a funny record sleeve. So it's this one, Erotic Bed Springs Symphony. So yeah, for fifty pence, you know. Um, and it's uh, it's on this label here. Um, on the Kent. Kent Comedian se Series and this really is there's a little bit of a, a reggae sort of backbeat going on but really all you can hear is sort of bed springs bouncing up and down and quite a lot of moaning and that's on the first side I've not actually got to the second side yet um, I mean if I put this on at full volume uh, late in the evening you know, I think my neighbours are going to be giving me some funny looks, but I had to take it for 50 pence. This is what I go to car boot sales for. So yeah, Erotica Bed Spring Symphony, the rhythm rhythms of love. I thought I'd pick that one up. Now I picked a, a couple of albums up, which are um, two of the biggest selling albums of the 1980s that I didn't have on vinyl, and this is one of them. Purple Rain. Uh, prints so and this is in pretty good condition one track is a little bit noisy but apart from that it's in really good good shape um, it's funny with prints I've got parade and I've got around the world in a day uh, I used to have love sexy this is an album I've never owned I don't know whether I actually ever heard it all the way through me and a girlfriend about three years ago uh, went to watch Purple Rain at Band on the Wall in Manchester um, and uh, after it's, it's not a good film uh, the music's good When Doves Cry and Let's Go Crazy I Would Die For You and Purple Rain of course but the movie I mean after about an hour we just uh, went, went to the bar we couldn't take it anymore but uh, yeah this is one of the biggest um, selling albums of the 1980s, I think. So, yeah, uh, 50p, Purple Rain by Prince. Now, when I first got to the car boot sale yesterday, I saw this album and I thought, yeah. And uh, I paid two quid for it, Rufus with Chaka Khan. 
it's got a little bit of sort of water damage so I was fearing the worst when I looked at the condition um, but it's actually in very good shape I played it and it's uh, no noise at all and for two quid um, from 1981 this album um, again uh, the sort of record that I go to car boot sales for um, you just never know what you're going to find find and um, it wasn't priced up there was only about six albums and they were all pretty lame but you know a little gem like this in the middle of them two quid I thought yeah so uh, yeah Rufus with Chaka Khan I think the album's called Camouflage I don't know where I've got I think yeah Camouflage it's called so yeah it's a good album and here's the other album from the 1980s which is um, was a huge seller that came out in 89 this was 50p as well so like a prayer by Madonna um, I quite like Madonna I've got True Blue I think um, I mean this is like a mini greatest hits we like a prayer express yourself cherish dear jesse uh, and i never realized that prince is actually on this album um and i think it's the track uh love song uh, and he plays guitar on a closing track track as well and um yeah it's just a good madonna album again this is the sort of record that i wouldn't buy from a record shop because they probably want i don't know they might want five or ten for it even but for 50 pence from a car boot sale yeah i was all over it so yeah like a prayer by madonna picked up a couple of 12 inches for a pound each so when i used to dj a lot um i used to play quite a bit of beyonce so i saw these for a pound each so um um dangerously in love um and it's got a sample of Strawberry Letter 23 on one of the tracks. There's six tracks on here. Uh, it's in really good shape as well. Um, you know, how can you leave that there? So, yeah, I've got Crazy in Love on 12 inch. I used to play that a lot. But, um, yeah, anything like this, car boot sale for a pound. Uh, yeah, I was always going to get that. And then another Beyonce. Uh, track this one baby boy featuring Sean Paul so yeah uh, similar sort of thing but 12 inches from sort of the when's this 2003 then uh, they're not easy to find so for a quid yeah Beyonce um, I've got a few albums here that you would probably class as maybe a little bit dodgy, but I do like Glen Campbell. So this was 50 pence, and it's a double album. Um, and it's recorded before a sellout audience on his British tour. And it came out in 81, this. And side one I played last night, and it's just... It's just like a melody of a medley of all his hits. So, Rhinestone Cowboy, Gentle on My Mind, Wichita Lineman, Galveston, uh, By the Time I Get to Phoenix. You know, and he's interacting with the crowd. Sounds like a really, you know, great gig. Southern Nights is on here. I've not played the last track on side four, but it's Muller Kentire. So, that'll be quite interesting to hear. But yeah, I've, I've got a soft spot with Glenn Campbell. So, and I didn't actually have any records by him so to find this for 50 pence i thought i'd have it and uh, on the same trip yesterday i found this for 50 pence so i grabbed it as well 20 golden greats glenn campbell i can remember seeing this in the record shops in uh, the mid 70s so all the hits are on here and um like i say I've got a soft spot for glenn campbell so for 50 pence had to grab that and also um, another one that was uh, 50 pence was this one, Gladys Knight and the Pips, 30 Greatest. So again, in 77, I think this sold a lot of copies. Uh, it does have Baby Don't Change Your Mind on, which I love, The Way, you, the way We Were, Best Thing That Ever Happened to Me, um, Midnight Train to Georgia. It's a really good comp. It's on KTEL, but it looks like it's never been played. So uh, I was talking to the couple, they had um, 
quite a few records. Um, I got the Glen Campbell record from them for 50 pence and they said that they were his mother's so um, you know they look like they'd never been played so uh, yeah and I do like Gladys Knight um, I've, I think I've got a Gladys Knight sort of hits album but uh, yeah for 50p I weren't leaving that there so yeah Gladys Knight and um, <laughs> This is a funny one. Well, there's a few, there's a couple of funny ones. Well, not funny, but um, I was watching a video by Dale Gatefold 33, and um, I was in work on Saturday, and I was doing some testing. I had music on, and I, I had a video on by Dale, and he was uh, showing a record by Tom Jones. So I put Tom Jones on, sort of uh, streaming him, and I was listening to him. I'm just thinking. Tom Jones, you know, sort of Johnny Cash, someone got hold of Johnny Cash and someone should really get hold of Tom Jones and do something with that voice because uh, I picked this up for 50 pence, Tom Jones Live in Vegas. Uh, this has got Yesterday on it and Hey Jude, It's Not Unusual, Delilah. Um, just a twist and shout, just a, a nice sort of live Tom Jones album. I don't have any Tom Jones and I think if I hadn't seen um, Dale... Kate Full 33 showing Tom Jones. Probably want to pick this up, so but yeah, uh, Tom Jones, I think a little bit underrated, so yeah, Tom Jones album there. And a similar album here, you know, my record collection is going from the sublime to the ridiculous, so yeah, Dean Martin's greatest hits. So again, this was 50 pence, so I thought I'd grab it. Yeah, it's on reprise. Um, and there's a track on here called uh, A Little Old Wine Drink and Me and that takes me back to sort of 1976 when there was a record shop and they used to do bundles of records and they used to be 99p for five and they used to put the best record on the top so I remember buying a bundle and in that bundle was uh, Dean Martin, A Little Old Wine Drink and Me so uh, yeah it takes me back to sort of the mid 70s I don't have any Dean Martin. I don't know whether I'll get any more by him, but I thought for 50 pence I'd grab it. And the last album is uh, a soundtrack, The Men in Black. So, yeah, this is a bit confusing because it's got side four, side three, and this is just side one and side two. Um, got the theme on it, of course, uh, Will Smith. Um, Alicia Keys is on here, Snoop Dogg, uh, a couple of Will Smith tracks. This was 50p, so yeah, I just grabbed it. Now, yesterday I was walking around um, the car boot sale, and um, when I used to go to car boots 20 years ago, people were giving singles away, but I've not seen that for years, and I was walking around and I saw a box of singles on the floor um, and it had this on it uh, sounds so let me read that uh, sounds of my youth a whole box of 45s for a tenner so there was 450 records for a tenner so as you can imagine you know that was uh, you know I loved I loved that and um, so I had a, look, a quick look, look through. The woman looked like she was probably early 50s. Uh, and I did have a chat with her. And she was saying how, um, you know, a bit about a musical taste and stuff. And I had a flick through. I just had a quick flick through. And uh, there was a lot of sort of early 80s stuff going to sort of mid 80s. And there's, there's some funny records in there. There's some records that I won't touch with a barge pole. Some records that you wouldn't even put in landfill. But it's really funny looking through them. I've just picked a, a small selection out. Um, the favourite record that was in there for me is um, this one. So, yeah. <laughs> if you're in America, you won't have a clue who the Crankies are. Um, so there were a couple and the woman played the part of a sort of naughty schoolboy. And they were Scottish. And the catchphrase was Fan Dabby Dozy. So... I just burst out laughing when I saw that so um, that's in there um, one of the first records I ever bought was by a band called Mr Big and it was Romeo but I can't find my copy anymore so um, 
to find that in there. I was really, really pleased to see that. Um, this track, the sleeve's very damaged. All the records are very, very good condition. Uh, Sebastian uh, by Steve Harley and Cockney Rebel. I've never actually heard that song, but I've heard people talking about it. Um, yeah, I think I've got every ABBA song now because uh, I think most of the singles are in that box. So like Winner Takes It All, that's in there. Uh, Camouflage, Stan Ridgeway. A real mixture of sort of cheesy 80s pop with some decent stuff as well. Um, uh, Chaz and Dave, Ain't No Pleasing You. Um, I'm not a big lover of Eric Clapton, but I don't mind um, I Shot the Sheriff. That was in there. Like I say, there's 450 records. This made me laugh, this sleeve. So someone had sort of custom customised it. So yeah, Tiger Feet by Mud. That made me smile. Uh, a couple more. Art of Noise, Peter Gunn. And uh, Fiction Factory. Feels like heaven. So um, whether I'll do a video going through the whole box, I'm not too sure. But yeah, uh, really great find for a tenner. I'm um, just going to show a few CDs. So I'll pick some CDs up as well. These were a pound each. Um, I played this in the car yesterday and it's gorgeous. So it's a John Coltrane, Plays the Blues. Um, don't see much jazz in the UK on vinyl. Um, but if I see some CDs at a good price, I'll pick them up. And that is it's a delight. Really great. Uh, one of my favourite bands, The Twang. So this is an album that came out in 2012 called 1020. So that was a pound. And uh, Tim Booth from James. Uh, that was a pound. Played that today in the car. Very, uh, yeah, Tim Booth, lead singer with the Manchester band James. And today um, I just picked up all these. These are all 50 pence each. So they're like Ibiza sort of uh, clubbers CDs. Boy George, it's a DJ of course now. So sort of headliners. You can pick these up so cheap in the UK on CD and just flap them on and uh, what are we doing you cooking in the kitchen? So uh, yeah, those are my uh, finds at the car boot sale. Um, like I say, you, you never know what you're gonna find. Um, but I think with everything I spent, I got 450 singles, um, 10 albums and six CDs. And I think I spent about 23 quid so i think that's pretty good value so um hope you enjoyed my video if you're a new subscriber thanks for subscribing to my channel really appreciate it if you want to make a comment i'll always get back to you so uh thanks for watching this video and bye for now